Next, we're going to focus on adding raster and vector layers using Python. First, let's open up our Python console inside of a brand new project. Make sure your editor is available and also clear your console. So the first file we're going to open up is the add vector Python file. This is found under Python in your two managing layers and projects with Python. Let's open up that Python file and you'll notice it's very simple. Basically, it's a variable called layer that is the interface and the method we're calling is add vector layer. And the vector layer we're adding is a shape file again and it's easements. And these easements shape file is found under data in your two managing layers and projects with Python subfolder. Now, these easements or right of ways, that's why I'm calling it ROW, right of way, or easement, they're interchangeable in this particular case. And this type of layer is an OGR, so it's vector format. So to add this to the current map, I'll hit run script. Now, the first thing that pops up is what coordinate system? So we're going to choose UTM zone 10. Now, if I change the coordinate system of the current map to EPSG 26910, I would not have been prompted to change it. But now that it's been set, we don't have to worry about changing it again. It's there. So now let's use Python to add a raster layer. So we've got the ROW easements. So open up another script. In this case, in the same folder, add underscore raster py. Again, super simple. It's just a layer. Interface, add raster this time. The vector said add vector layer. The raster says add raster layer. So you see, simple as that, that's the method. Again, we're going to put the path of where it is. This case, it's a Nanaimo ECW. So that's the city. That's what city this is, Nanaimo. And it's an ECW file, Enhanced Compressed Wavelet. The reason I'm using that format in this course rather than a TIFF or a JPEG or any other is it just happens to be a well-compressed file. So I get a lot of image in a small footprint. The file sizes aren't very big. That's the only reason I'm using them. We could use TIFF or JPEG or GeoTIFF or whatever you'd like to use or Mr. Sid. In this case, I just chose that type because it's small. Okay, and you'll notice there's not three parameters like there is with vector. There's only one. There's the Aerials, that's what it's going to show in the legend. And there's no comma, anything else. Like the other one has OGR. So the add vector layer has OGR, whereas this case, the raster doesn't have anything else. It's only got two parameters. Okay, so let's add this Nanaimo ECW to the map by hitting run script. And there they are. The one ECW file just appeared. There it is. If I zoom right in, you can see. Scenario photo, okay? Now it's on top of the right of ways. You can't see it. So I have to actually move these around like this to see it. So now I've moved the right of ways in the legend. I just dragged and dropped and now it's in there. Now I'm gonna show you in a minute how to add it so it's actually at the bottom of the list instead of the top of the list because each time you use Python to add a new layer, it's gonna put it to the top of the layer list, meaning the top of the display order. So the next Python I'm going to show you not only inserts a raster layer, but it puts it at the very top. So let's look at that. So let's open up our Python. This time we're going to add an X, Y, Z or X, Y, Z. Okay. So the X, Y, Z happens to be this open street map that's actually in our browser window. So I could double click on that and add that, or I can use the Python to do the same. The most important thing about the parameters of the X, Y, Z is it's not looking for a particular folder, but it's looking for a URL. So the URL is type X, Y, Z, and one of the parameters is URL, and there's the OpenStreetMap URL, and you'll see the Z or Z max and Z min. There we are. And then the layer is a QGS raster layer. The parameters above, it's an OpenStreetMap, that's the title. So we've got three. We've got the parameters, which is the path. OSM is just going to be what's in the legend. And it's a web service, basically web mapping service. That's what WMS stands for. So it's a type of raster layer. Then what we're going to say is in this particular project, 
in this instance, so in this one that's going on up here, we're going to instantiate this particular map up here. We're going to add a layer, that one above, and the second parameter is false. So what that means is it's not going to refresh, it's not going to show up yet, it's not even going to show in the legend because we're not done yet. So that false basically says, okay, we've added to the map, but you're not going to see it yet. First, we want to get a hold of the layer tree or what the layer list is in this widget over here. So we go into the interface, we get the layer tree canvas bridge, basically the link between what's going on in here and what's on the map on the canvas. And we're going to get the root group. Now the root group is basically what is the base group inside of the system layers. Because you can have other groups in here. If I right click, I could say add group and put another group in there. And that's not the root group, that's group one. But all we're worried about right now is, I'm just gonna remove that group, is the root one. So the base list here. And then we're gonna say, okay, for that layer tree, this list here, we're gonna insert a child node, meaning we're gonna insert an item in the legend. And where are we gonna insert it? Minus one. That's code to say, doesn't matter where anything else is inserted, put this beneath everything else, minus one at the very bottom of the list. And what are we adding? Well, we're adding to the QGIS layer tree, the layer up here, that raster, and it should appear. So let's see what happens if we run this. If I go run script, ah, in the background, underneath everything, the OpenStreetMap OSM is now available and is underneath everything else because it was inserted at minus one. Okay, so now how would we do this with anything else? Well, let's remove all three of these layers for now. I'm just gonna right click, remove layer. Yes, remove it. I'm gonna remove the aerials, right click, remove layer, great. And finally, the OSM that we just did, remove layer. Okay, all three are gone. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy all the code from add XYZ, and I'm gonna paste it beneath the layer in add raster. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the params to be the path of the ECW that I want. So I'm just gonna highlight all that right to the end of the quote, scroll all the way over, right to the ECW, copy that, and paste it as the parameters. Done. Next, I'm gonna delete that layer. So this is looking pretty close to the add XYZ one. The only difference is I'm gonna change the WMS parameter right here to nothing. And I'm also gonna change the name to this to aerials. There, so I've changed three things. I changed the parameters to the path of the ECW. I dropped the third parameter of the raster layer. And I changed the name of the legend. That's it. So now these two almost look identical. So the XYZ one, it has a path and a WMS, whereas the raster has the actual path of the file, whereas the XYZ has a URL. The other thing I've changed is I've renamed the layer and dropped the WMS. Otherwise, it's identical. Now, if I were to run this right now, watch what happens. Actually, let's add the vector first so you can see. So the row easements come in. Now I'm gonna flip over to add raster. Now the raster is underneath because I'm using the same technique as the XYZ. By the way, this works for all of them. This works for anything. I could add this exact sort of process except the QGIS raster layer. I change that to vector layer and everything else would work for the adding vector. So this is a great technique to make sure any layers you're adding get dropped to the bottom because by default, they float to the very top. And this is a really neat way to do that, to modify the legend order when you're adding layers. So as you've seen, we've had vector, raster, XYZ, as well as controlled where it was inserted, the top or the bottom of the layer list.